what kind of shape of the recovery curve, given the macro-related concerns. Uh, are you seeing this robust pickup in demand because of AI, or is that not enough? No, it's not going to be enough. It's also in traditional application, at least in the short term, right? So we've had uh, declining prices for DDRAM and, and, and NAND, as I mentioned, for the last year and a half. And that inventory is expected to bottom now. We should start seeing these prices uh, go up in probably in Q3 or Q4. And that should help SK Highness uh, major business as of now. But then in the, in the future as well, the AI-related uh, semiconductors or, D, or or DRAMs, these are going to have a big impact. These are expected to grow between 35 to 40 percent over the next uh, five years. We're going to see a lot of demand from that, and that's probably underestimated. I think chat GPT and generative AI uh, this year kind of opened eyes mm. to, to and made that realization happen uh, sooner than expected, and now we're trying to play catch up. And I think SK Hynix will benefit from that. It's, it's going to take a quarter or two. To see to see these numbers come filter down to revenues, I think 2024 the revenue is expected to grow uh, close to 40 percent. We're seeing also a decline in capex for SK Hynix, which which could help improve its margins. I think 2024 could be a good year for that company, but we have to remember that. As I mentioned, year-to-date performance has been at least 20-25% above Samsung's this year. So valuation can play a role here, too. You know, there has been some balance sheet-related concern playing out around a lot of um, some of the SK names, including SK Hynix. And uh, I did have a couple of analysts who told me that because of that, they prefer Samsung Electronics, for example, in South Korea over SK Hynix. Do you think those, are con those concerns are alleviated, relieved somewhat? Look, it's going to play a role, but but the the leadership in of SK Hynix and AI related DRAMs that's not going to be easy to to ignore, right? So so uh, you're going to see their numbers probably better than Samsung in that related space for the next year or two. And if Samsung is not able to catch up, you know that's SK Hynix could could you know take leadership in that space, and that's a very high growth space that we expect over the next five to 10 years, right? Structural growth story, one of the major themes that we see, look at NVIDIA stocks, look at AI related stocks, even the suppliers now of SK Hynix and Samsung that we're also seeing their stock, you know, their stock prices perform really well. So that trade is happening. It's it's the beginning. We may have gone a little bit ahead, uh, you know, of fundamentals in the short term, but over a long term, this theme is gonna continue. And I think SK Hynix, in, Hynix is in a very well position to, to capitalize on that.